the sea ice cover is one of the key components of the polar climate system. So basically when it gets super cold, the Arctic Ocean water freeze. Then it becomes a giant slab of frozen ocean water. Only the upper layer of the sea water or ocean water freezes. As you may know, ice is less dense than water. So it floats on the ocean surface. You will find this phenomena both at the Arctic as well as in the Antarctic region. But the thickness varies significantly in both regions. Antarctic ice is typically 1 to 2 meters thick. While most of the Arctic is covered by sea ice of 2 to 3 meters thick. Some Arctic regions are covered with ice that is 4 to 5 meters thick. Anyhow, now that you know what is sea ice, what you need to understand is that the Arctic water is frozen all throughout the year. But the extent of the sea ice varies from month to month. For example, from the month of May till September, the ice extent of the Arctic water is low. Because the Northern Hemisphere witnesses summer season during these months. Sea ice extent is largely affected by winds and ocean currents, as well as temperature. The Northern Hemisphere experiences summer during the months of June, July and August, because it is tilted towards the sun and receives the most direct sunlight. Now warm water of the tropical region move northward into the Arctic Ocean and gets all mixed up. The tropical warm water does not reach till the North Pole, but the surrounding sea ice starts to melt during the summer season. And again from October till April, the sea ice of the Arctic extends till the surrounding continental landmasses.